The second stanza of the poem begins, and some cease feeling even themselves or for themselves. Now these soldiers, there comes a time in their lives where they cease feeling. They do not feel anything. And these feelings that they have, they are not only for their relatives, for their wives, for their children, for their parents, uh, for the people. Even there is a time in their lives when they are put in a, in a, in a, in a, in a difficult tight corner like uh, a war or a battlefield, whether it was World War I, World War II or any war that was fought post that. They seize the feelings for themselves as well as for others. Because if they have feelings for other human beings, it will make difficult for a soldier to be a soldier. Dullness best solves the tease and doubt of shelling. They are dull. They are emotionally dull. They are void of emotions. And this voidness of emotions, this seizing of feeling, makes them uh, a more potent force to counter the shellings in the battlefield, to counter the bullets in the battlefield, to counter the cannons in the battlefield, to, to, to run over the dead bodies in the battlefield, to ignore the dying uh, companions, to dying soldiers and dying human beings on the battlefield. And chance's strange arithmetic comes simpler than the reckoning of their shilling. And, and these people who are insensible, whose feelings have ceased, whose emotions have ceased, you know, they run upon chances. They do not run upon emotions. If a person has died in front of, the, in front of them, it was a chance, it was an accident. Maybe he would have been saved, but if he died, he has died. Now they have to feel, they have to uh, you know, either save themselves, move forward, defend themselves, defend their country, defend their field, defend their land, defend their people and forget about uh, you know, these minor things. They don't go deep into the earthmatic. They don't go deep into the uh, into, into emotions, into expressions. Oh, he has died. What will I do? No, I'll die. He'll die. They don't uh, ponder upon such questions and that comes simply to them because they are insensible. They are emotionless. They are emotionally dead. They have stone heart. They keep no check on army's decimation. They don't look how people have, are dying in front of them, how they are being decimated, how they are being murdered, how they are being killed. These things hardly affect them because of their insensibility. Now in this stanza, he continues the argument from the previous stanza and says that uh, these soldiers are actually without feelings. And that is important for them. The dullness helps them uh, to go a long way uh, to perform their duties, whether that is on the border, whether that is on the battlefield, whether, whether that, that is in any uh, part of the nation, any part of the country, any part of the world. They, the, the, these things, uh, the dullness, the seizing of emotions or feelings helps them to overcome a lot of problems and miseries. And there are people who, who are you know, take things to the chances. They, uh, you know, a moment he is alive and a moment he is dead because he could not save himself, he could not defend himself. Uh, a bullet chanced to hit him and he died and he chanced to escape the bullet and he is alive.